Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. I know that I only did a monthly favourites a couple of weeks ago because I was behind my schedule, but I'm back on track and it's time to tell you about the things that I loved in the month of October. Are you ready? Let's do it. No whiffle waffle. Come on, we got stuff to talk about. This was like the month of hair care. I don't know why. It's just weird, but I just, I'm enjoying my hair at the moment. And then I decided the other day that I wanted to get a cut. And then I was like, no, I like it. <laughs> I just go through phrases where I want to cut, I don't want to cut. I need to do something with it. Cause like it's grand and all, but I need to get like layers and stuff or something. I just need to like judge it up a bit. Wouldn't you say? What do you think I should do? Cause I was gonna go for like something maybe like, like that short or something. I don't know. That's another video. Okay. But basically these are the things that I've been loving on my hair for the month of October. These. Ding. These are the Aussie Mega Shampoo Mega Instant Conditioner and they're fabulous. Basically this gives you like, this gives me fabulous soft wavy swishy hair. Love it. And it's perfect for everyday use, which is what it says for everyday cleaning. And it says that your hair will be extra shiny and soft. And it really, really is. Can't say enough good things about this. Thank God I have a year's supply. <laughs> I did give some away, but I did keep some back for myself. I think this is my favourite of all the Aussie ranges. So it's a mega shampoo because I want to have mega hair. Do I have mega hair? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm just demented. But I um, love these. Cheap as chips and they do what they say on the tin. Gives me swishy hair, gives me mega hair. Zhuzh. So next on the hair care hoo-ha is the Glamination. Wait, let me organise the bottles. <laughs> See? <laughs> the Glamination range from Schwarzkopf. Now there are five products all together in the collection and these are my two favourite ones. This is the prep, no, the Prime Prep Spray which is a heat protectant and I've been using this all the time because I'm very into like drying my hair at the moment because I can't have my shower in the morning because otherwise I have to go up like quarter to five if I'm going to have a shower in the morning. So I have it the night before and it means I can't, like I have to dry my hair, can't go to bed with my hair because it's cold and I catch cold in my kidneys and then my mum will kill me. And so this is great for somebody if you blow dry your hair, if you use a lot of heat on your hair, it doesn't leave your hair sticky, tacky, anything that you don't feel any residue on your hair, just protects it. And like, look, I've been using it all the time and look, fabulous. And then I've also been using the Plumping Shine Mousse and I use this today. There's no stickiness, there's no residue. I can comb through my hair, can run my fingers through my hair and it smells really nice. <laughs> and their whole ethos is like to have undone looking hair. So you're going to use all the products to make it look like you haven't used the product. Um, but they smell lovely, they smell girly, but these are the two that I've been using the most. And I'm, all, I'm very into my heat protectant at the moment because, you know, like, and especially coming up to Christmas, if you're going to be curling your hair an awful lot, then using something like this and then using something like this to give yourself a bit of zhuzh, protect the hair while you're zhuzhing, happy days, and they're pink. Yeah. The only thing that I don't like is that there's a hairspray to go with this and it looks like the exact same um, packaging and so you have to like look like this to see what it is and then it's the same with this I think there's like a there's a liquid hairspray as well um, I don't usually hair I don't use an awful lot of hairsprays but I will be trying them over the Christmas period to we'll let you know but the, it's the same bottle as this so just look at it like this to see what <laughs> what one you're using otherwise things will get messy but um, really love these. And this is the final thing on the hair care genre is the Kerastase, 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 I don't know, um, Nectar Thermique, this one. I did a blog post on this last week because I just love it. Oh my God, I love it. Didn't use it today because I was using the other things. Anytime I use this, people say to me, did you get your hair done? What did you do? And I'm just like, yeah, no, I just blow dried my hair. But you put, you wash and condition your hair as per usual. And then you put like a little, like walnut size maybe amount. What is, how big is walnut? like a grape size amount, a grape, that's how much I use, like a green grapes amount, um, into the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and then I kind of start, I usually flip my hair upside down and I start in the back, just in case I put too much product on at the front and then you have like grease ball hair. And so yeah, just put it on the ends of my hair from about there down, and it just gives you the most sleek, smooth hair, but with body, with oomph, like oomph. And I um, love this, it's like 23 something. And do you know what? Even Joanne said to me, what are you using on your hair? Because tell me what it is because I'm going to buy it. So it's gorgeous. I think I'm down to about there. I'm trying to like ration it like a little bit, but you know what? I'm just going to hoof my way through it. I don't care. I just want to have it. And it says, this is blow dry, blow dry care for dry hair. I don't have dry hair, but you know the way sometimes with um, products that are designed for dry hair, they can leave a lot of residue. It can be sticky. This feels like nothing. It just feels like you're a bridie in an ad gone. Swish, swish, would you look at my hair? It's fabulous. <laughs> it's tricked. Do it, buy it and you'll see. So on to makeup. <coughs> um, 
up. Okay, well, I'll talk about it first. I'm just going to talk about this briefly. This is the Clarence The Essentials palette. I've been using this for the past couple of weeks and I have just filmed a video. I'm wearing the makeup for it now. I've just filmed that um, today, so I'm not going to go into it too much. I'll leave a link below for whenever the video goes up. But basically, we're talking 43 euros, 10 eyeshadows. This one's crap. This, These two are okay. The rest are fabulous. Absolutely love this palette. And it comes with the brush that's lost somewhere and it comes with an overlay as well I'll show you a picture I'll insert a picture here and it comes with a mirror and I love these I've been wearing these non-stop for the past couple of weeks and it's fantastic for 43 euro Um, watch my video to show you how to like do this look it's lovely this shade is magnificent <coughs> and also look it comes with an elastic to stop the flap from opening you to keep your flaps closed Heard it here first. Always talking about flaps. I'm very late to the whole Estee Lauder tour um, parte. I bought this a couple of years ago, I think in New York, and do you know what? It's probably gone off. I don't care. It smells fine. It's fine. It hasn't broken me out yet. And this is in the shade double, no, not double wear. <laughs> this is in the shade Ecru. And when I got it first, I used to apply it and I was like, what is wrong with this? And what is wrong with my face? And it just looked so dry and cakey and just bleh. Not what I was looking for. I do not want my face to look bleh. And recently I was doing a clear out of my foundations and I said, no, do you know what? I'm not going to throw this out. I'm going to give it another go and just see what the story is. So started using it with this, which is another favourite. My Real Techniques, what is the spongy thing called? Miracle, Miracle Sponge or something? I don't know, put the, the title here, I can't remember. I washed this this morning, so it's Jimongous. <laughs> and so then I went out and I bought like a second one, which is also not as Jimongous. But look, this is like a proper squidgy wet, cleanish one. I couldn't clean the extra bits there. Um, but I swear, oh my God, these are like a match made in makeup heaven. Because I used these before and again, I just was very like whelmed with it. I was like, what is the big deal? All these beauty blender, complexion sponge and just, I don't get it. And it takes ages. But then um, a couple of weeks ago, I was like, right, you know, do you know what? I'm going to get stuck in. I'm going to try it again. I see all the YouTubers using them. I'm going to try it. Don't to be left out. I hate feeling left out. I feel like a big yoke. So what I do is I put some onto my finger like that. I dot it all over my face squidge it in like that and it just gives the most flawless finish i have a blog post coming up on this to show before and after photos but it stays put all day it starts to break down all my chanons if i don't use a primer if i do use a primer it stays put it doesn't dry it doesn't cake it doesn't flake it settles into these lines because i like smiling and laughing off a lot but that's okay i'd rather have that than like that and have perfect makeup um <laughs> Yeah, this is totally a revelation. But anyway, I love these so freaking much. This on my face now. Look. Just gives flawless finish. And this is like the perfect going out. I'm gonna use this now for going out. I just need places to go out too <laughs> so that I can have a flawless finish. Love it. And another thing that I have been loving and I'm wearing today is this the 17 define and conquer contour kit would you look first of all NARS-esque packaging except it's not that horrible squidgy crap that gets all squishy and look it's lovely inside we have sorry I'm like <laughs> inside we have the contour powder and then the highlighting powder this is lovely I've also done a blog post on that I'd say that'll be up this week on the blog so I'll leave a link below when I when I post it but look just gives a really warm kind of definition and contour and gives me like cheekbones like this look naturally but the contour powder it's gorgeous for contouring for adding a bit of color around like the temples and around the cheekbones and under here and like if you want to um contour your chanel's you can do that and it blends really really easily and it is a joy to use i've been using this pretty much every day and then the highlighting powder it's different in the fact that like you know there's sometimes you would do that and to look at it you would see that there is like kind of shimmer or glitter in them this is different this has like it has like a pearl, a pearly finish, but really, really, really subtle. Like it would be good for even, you know, if you're using concealer, it would be good for patting on top of that um, to help set the concealer, but without looking really shiny or glittery or anything. Gorgeous. beautiful. Absolutely fabulous. This is like my favourite contour thing at the moment. Do I look like I've lost my four stone? Look. 
this only like 7.59 or something like that really really good and it's from 17 coat boots second to last we have this this is the Tarte Amazonian clay blush in blissful look at it is that not gorgeous I have it on my face today as well really have to kind of go at it with the with the brush now I think you know this sometimes with um with powders if you've used a brush on your face and it kind of gets like some of the product stuck on it and then you put it onto that if they're like a film kind of develops over the top I think that's what's happened so I'm kind of going to like scooch it a little bit but this is the most gorgeous shade of like curly pinky peachy absolutely fabulous blissful and I'm going to buy more of these when I'm away and my last favorite of the month is this it's so teeny tiny you probably can't even see it this is the by Terry Bram de Rose and it, this is a little mini sample I got this I think it was a part of a goodie bag I'm not sure oh I'm totally gonna buy the full thing except it's like 35 pounds or I don't even know how many euros is I forget I'm afraid to go in and ask but I'm kind of been rationing it a little bit basically if you suffer from dry lips any kind of cracked lips you put this on overnight you wake up with like big fabulous perfect lips and it smells like roses and I just think that I love it or like a really really lot and I'm perpetually so I always have like dry cracked lips and if I ever feel that I have like kind of dry skin I end up like peeling off and it's just it's like this horrible cycle that never ends this is fantastic um, and I, I buy it for myself like for Christmas treat or something I don't know it's fabulous I wish I didn't like it so much why do I have to like all the expensive things do you love this have you ever tried this and isn't there like coloured ones out now as well coloured lip balms Talk to me, tell me, is there? I think there is. I think I saw it on um, a blog recently. But I love this so much. And this is probably the reason why I will let myself go into space and cape because I know I'll come out with a full size one and be like probably 50 euro poor. Oh. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> it's my favourite lip balm right now. Love you. Yes, I just did speak to my lip balm. Okay, so on to non beauty favourites, shall we? I've been loving love hate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so good. Oh my god. It just makes the whole Sunday evening like oh to go back to work tomorrow like a little bit less painful in that it's just one of the best programs that has ever come out of Ireland and I just I watching it on the couch all snuggled up with my fleece going Oh my god, oh my god, oh god, oh god, oh god. So good. I just can't even can't even cope with how good it is. Um if you're Irish, you probably do watch it and it's so violent and but it's just so good. Have I said that it's so good? <laughs> it's so good. Um and also Downton Abbey, love that so much as well. Poor Lady Edith. She got love her. What are we gonna do on love hate finishes? And I don't know if there's six or eight episodes. I do you know, I don't even know if I can cope with eight episodes of this because it's just so like, those are my monthly favourites. Those are the things that I have loved over October. And now it's November. That's mad that it's November. I know everyone's saying that, but it really is. It really is. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting stuck into the whole month because it's going to be a busy one. Um, we're going to New York at the end of the month, which is very exciting. And we're going to be vlogging while we're there. So I need to learn how to use my camera properly for vlogging over there. And what else? Um, we're going to be doing Vlogmas, well our version of Vlogmas um, for December in that we're going to have a Christmas video up. I don't know if it'll be every day or every second day, but it'll be Christmas themed in some way. And we've loads of ideas, we're going to start filming them this weekend and I want to try and get, and get like a head start on myself and just see what we can do. But it should be good times. Very excited. And now that like October's over, like we are allowed to like talk about Christmas and stuff, aren't we? Yeah. And also we're going to be filming Christmas gift guides this year as well. We're in the planning preparation stages for that we're probably going to have three gift guide videos i'm not 100 percent sure yet we'll fill you in when it when it's closer it's gonna be a really exciting one that can't wait to get stuck in those are my monthly favorites i'll leave a link below with any of the, the blog posts that i've done regarding any of the product and if you see anything that you want to review on just let me know and i will do it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up join just give it a thumbs up go like that and um i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye